When I first started painting, I didn't care too much about what gesso was or what it was used for. But the thing is, is that as I've learned over the years, there's some pretty cool things you can do with gesso. And so that's what I'm gonna go over in this video. First off, gesso is used as a layer in between the canvas and your paint, or in between wood and your paint. It can go on a lot of different surfaces, but it adjusts the amount of absorption of your paint into the substrate that you're using to paint on. So if you're painting on canvas, a lot of people get these pre-made canvases, they are pre-primed. This means that the gesso has already been applied. When you paint on a primed canvas, the paint is not going to absorb into the canvas underneath, which is a really good thing from an archival standpoint, which means that over time, your colors will be light fast, they'll stay the same, it won't crack, your paint won't peel off, that kind of thing. Now, I would like to say here though that I have used white paint instead of gesso because I know that's going to be a common question, whether you can use white paint or if you have to use gesso as that first layer. I have used white paint, which is against the advice of art conservators out there for the long-term life of your painting, but I have on a couple of occasions, when I was in a pinch and I ran out of gesso, used white paint and it worked just fine for me. So it's up to you whether you want to try that or not. One thing that I did notice is that it was more like painting on layers of paint rather than painting on gesso, because gesso has a more matte finish and it's a little more absorbent of the paint than acrylic paint is. So that's something to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is that there are different types of gesso. So you can have acrylic gesso, which is the one that I'm showing here in this video. This is the Liquitex Basics kind. I just get the cheapest gesso. There's obviously more expensive gessos out there, but typically I don't gesso lots of canvases. So the cheapest kind works for me whenever I need to use it. But the thing is, is that there are different grades of gesso, so different qualities, but there's also gesso that's made specifically for oil painters. And there's gesso like the acrylic gesso, which can be used by acrylic painters and oil painters. But the rule of thumb here is if you are purchasing pre-primed canvases, which most of us are, look on the package, it's gonna tell you whether it is good for acrylic or oils. But some oil painters do not like to paint on acrylic gesso because their paint sinks into the paint in a little bit of an uneven finish and in unpredictable ways. And that's why some oil painters prefer to paint on oil primed canvas. So if you're an oil painter, I would definitely check out oil primed canvas so that way you can get the best results on your paintings. One of the top uses for gesso, even if you're already purchasing a pre-gessoed canvas, is to adjust the amount of canvas texture that's sticking up through the canvas before you start painting. Some people like to paint on a very flat surface. And if you're one of those people, the best thing to do is just bring your pre-primed canvas home from the store or get it in the mail and then lay it flat, add several layers of gesso, add each layer one at a time and allow it to dry and add up more. And you'll start to build up gesso on the surface of the canvas. You can take a very light sandpaper and sand it off and you can get it super flat. I'd also suggest using a wide soft brush when you are applying the gesso and laying the canvas flat because gesso is very liquidy and it will kind of even out over time but if you leave brush marks in there by using a really thick brush and having lots of different marks they are going to stay in there a little bit it's not as self-leveling as varnishes but for me personally i don't ever really add gesso to my canvases after i purchase them from the store before i start painting i like the canvas texture showing through it adds more depth and detail to my paintings but i'm also creating paintings in a very impressionistic style and so some people who paint realism love having a very flat surface with no canvas texture showing through. So that's something that you can do if you're one of those people. The thing I like most about gesso is being able to cover up an old painting. This one is something that I used for a tutorial in a previous video and I wanna paint on it again and I want it to be completely white when I start over and have the same tooth as gesso would have rather than painting over it with white paint. And so what I'm gonna do is just put a couple of coats of gesso on here and it will return the canvas canvas back to the way it was to begin with, minus a little bit of the canvas texture because I'll have added a few layers to it and I can use it for another tutorial. I love doing this because it saves money on supplies. And I don't know about you, but I'm all about saving money where I can so that way I can create more artwork. Well, if you found this video helpful, I've made an entire playlist of over 30 acrylic painting tutorials. You can watch them here. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.